so the Human Genome Project was an international uh, research effort, was largely based in the United States at the National Institutes of Health. It took 13 years to complete, began in uh, earnest in 1990, and uh, the first published uh, genome sequence appeared in 2003. The genome is 3.2 billion base pairs of DNA in length. It was sequenced at a cost of $3.5 billion. It identified about 20,000 functional genes. And we've said that these functional genes only account for a small percentage of all of the DNA in the genome. So there's still much to be learned. The cost of sequencing a genome has decreased dramatically since the Human Genome Project. So if we go back to when the uh, Human Genome Sequence was first published in the early uh, 2000s, 2002, 2003, the cost for sequencing a genome had already dropped from $3.5 billion to about $100 million. But in the time since then, Human, uh, DNA sequencing has embraced technologies of miniaturization and robotics and automation. And the cost of a genome sequence now, well, let's, let's say in 2015, three years ago, was slightly more than $1,000. It's projected by the National Institutes of Health that by the year 2020, that is two years from now, the cost of sequencing a genome will be about $10 per genome. The dramatic decrease in the cost of genome sequencing means that it's feasible to sequence a lot of genomes, not only of humans, but of other species. So as of January 1st of 2018, at the uh, NIH database, it's called GeneBank, there were listed 143,681 different species for which we have genome sequence. These include animals, plants, bacteria, and viruses. And the total number of genomes in the database as of the beginning of 2018 was 500,000 genomes. 